since I have done a skincare review. You guys know that my favorite way to do them is to try a whole line of products for four to six weeks, and this has actually been closer to eight weeks that I've been using a skincare line that I wanted to talk to you guys about. When they reached out, I immediately knew I wanted to try this out because I've both heard a lot and not a lot from it. I feel like I've heard a lot from celebrities, uh, you know, like you could watch the Harper Bazaar, like go to bed with me videos, and the skincare line is often mentioned, but I haven't heard a lot from like my peer group about this brand. And I think it's because it's quite expensive. <laughs> and I also think it's because it's kind of a luxury line that's tied to a spa in New York. So for those of you who haven't put two and two together, we are talking about Tracy Martin skincare today. A lot of you have been asking me what my skincare routine has been, and it has been solely Tracy Martin products for, like I said, about eight weeks now. They were kind enough to send me kind of a customized skincare routine to give a try. As you guys know, this video is not sponsored uh, by any means. These are my honest feelings and I am under no obligation to tell you that I love something that I don't. So now that all of that sort of disclaimer is out of the way, let's get into the video. It's extremely cloudy and rainy outside in California right now, so I probably look like a ghost based on the lighting that's outside. Um, but hopefully the rain doesn't get too loud. Apologies in advance if um, there's any fuzziness to the sound. For those of you who haven't watched a skincare review with me before, I kind of break it up into segments. So we'll talk a little bit about the brand first. For those of you who haven't heard of Tracy Martin, I'll give you a bit of a summary of what it is. Um, and then we'll move on to the products. I'll show you guys me actually using the products and then we'll do kind of like some wrap up thoughts at the very end. So grab yourself something warm to drink. I have my tea here and uh, let's get started. So Tracy Martin was really at the forefront of this natural skincare meets luxury skincare movement. I feel like now the market has plenty of different brands like Mae Lindstrom or Tata Harper, but Tracy Martin was definitely one of the first to kind of dip their toes in this water. Um, certainly their price point is quite luxury and we will get into that when we're talking about the products, but let's talk about kind of the backstory a little bit. So Tracy Martin was actually started in the 90s and Tracy Martin was a makeup artist who had moved here from the UK and met Marius, who ended up being her co-founder, who at the time was studying to be a nutritionist and studying Eastern medicine. And they kind of both bonded over their love of wellness and their kind of holistic approach to wellness. And from there, when Tracy Martin discovered a microcurrent facials over in Europe. She sort of brought that idea back over to the US and developed her own technology with Marius to do the still very coveted Tracy Martin microcurrent facials here. So she first started just with kind of clients like supermodels who she had been doing makeup on and that soon caught the attention of a lot of people. Um, and Vogue magazine actually published an article about her facial treatments and very soon after they ended up opening their first spa together because of kind of the response that that brought. And so it took them about three years to actually come out with their first product, which we still carry today, which is the firming serum. I have that here. We will talk about that. It's one of their more expensive products. And kind of as their following grew, I think Tracy Martin is really known for their celebrity clientele. They're talked about in the press and have quotes on their website and are known for treating people like Rihanna, Julia Roberts, Kate Winslet, some actresses that have just come on the scene like Camila Mendez, Phoebe Tonkin. So they really are known for the celebrity presence and both celebrities endorsing their products and then also receiving facial treatments at their spa in New York. So with all that being said, let's actually dive into the routine that I was doing. Uh, a quick backstory on my skin, I have dehydrated acne prone skin, which means that my skin can be quite oily and quite dry at the same time. Those of you who have dehydrated skin know what I'm talking about. And then acne prone just what it sounds. I'm blemish prone. I definitely get hormonal breakouts. In fact, right now I uh, have one or two little friends that have popped up uh, since my period is expected next week. So that's always fun. And so for me, it is tricky to find products that both address my acne and oil while also not depleting my skin of hydration because I do have that dehydrated skin. I'm definitely a nighttime skincare person. I 
pretty much don't do anything in the morning. If I do something, it's splashing my face with water and then applying a moisturizer. So really this is talking about my nighttime routine. And yeah, like I said, I've been using these for about eight weeks and let's hop in and talk about these products and then I'll tell you guys about the results. I wanna touch on the packaging for a second. Everything that I received is like double layered packaging. So you get the box and then you actually get the product inside. The box itself is this really beautiful, hopefully it's transferring on camera, kind of like royal purple color. There's some notes about how to use the product. Ingredients are obviously very easy to find. And then one touch that I thought was really cute is on most of the products except for one that I received, there's a little note about kind of the aromatherapy of the product. So smell is clearly something that they're pointing out about these products, that the smell that you're having, the experience that you're having is really important to the Tracy Martin line. And that's something that I've seen in reviews about facials, that it really is, you know, great products, but also such an incredible experience. So I think that's cool that that kind of transfers over to their product line that you would actually take home with you and that they value that experience just as much in their spa as at home. Now the packaging itself of the products actually surprised me because I assumed based on the luxury price point that they would be glass packages. I don't know why, but in my mind, I sort of pair luxury with glass packaging and lesser expensive products with plastic packaging. And these are all plastic packaging. Everything that I received is plastic. So I thought that was interesting. Um, they have this pretty gold cap to them. And one thing I will note is that this gold stays so much better than uh, gold caps of other products that I've tried that have flaked on me. So although it is plastic packaging, it's still high quality. Uh, sturdy and certainly won't break on you, but I just thought that was interesting to note. Let me know what you guys think. Do you mind when a luxury product is in plastic packaging? Would you rather have it in glass or does it not really matter to you? I'm curious to know what you guys think. So to start off any skincare routine, you need a cleanser, whether you're wearing makeup or not at night, it's really great to cleanse your skin, get off all the dirt, all the pollution that you're exposed to during the day. And I was using the Amla Purifying Cleanser. Now this is $65 and it is meant to brighten your skin, gently exfoliate it. It's definitely vitamin C packed. So again, that brightening, it promotes an even skin tone. It's supposed to help fight against blemishes and breakouts, kind of cleansing your skin without stripping your skin. It is a foaming cleanser and then also help with the pH balance of your skin. So I applied two pumps of this onto dry hands. I added a little bit of water until it formed into a lather as I was rubbing my hands together. And then I apply it to my face. I felt like two pumps was plenty to do that. I obviously always take it down my neck as well, my chest if it's exposed. But what I really felt like stood out about this cleanser is the fact that it's not stripping. So I am definitely in the camp of staying away from foam cleansers because I get that tight feeling afterwards that I really don't like, especially with someone with dehydrated skin. That's like the worst thing that I could possibly feel. So with this cleanser, it was completely the opposite. My skin felt very clean, obviously, uh, but no tightness and no dryness to my skin, which was just very refreshing. Now, this was the only cleanser that I used even when I was wearing makeup. And I will say I prefer this much more as a second cleanse than a first cleanse to take off with makeup. And that's really a personal preference. Just when I was using it, I realized I had missed an oil cleanser, which I feel like takes off my makeup really well. And I just enjoy that experience of taking off my makeup that way but I would certainly follow up with this as a second cleanse that being said this did do a good job of removing makeup so I think you do need two cleanses in order to get all of the makeup off at least the amount that I wear but I did feel like this did a good job when I did two cleanses with it my skin still felt very clean I use white towels so I can always tell if there's makeup left over and I didn't have any residue that kind of transferred after two cleanses but certainly one cleanse was not enough if I was wearing makeup shockingly despite doing double cleanses often, I really have a lot of this product left. And I think this goes for all of Tracy Martin's products, except for one, which I will talk about, that I tried. A little really does go a long way. So overall, I really enjoyed this cleanser. I would probably pair it with some sort of makeup remover beforehand, just because that's my preference. Um, but it does do a really good job of cleaning your skin and not having that really 
a squeaky clean tight feeling when you wash it off. So after cleansing, I would either do my normal routine of a toner, moisturizer, and serum, or I would do a mask. So I'm gonna go the normal routine route, and this is what I did about 70% of the time. I did a mask two to three times a week. So my normal routine would be to grab the toner, and this is the Absolute Purity Toner. This is the one product that I went through very quickly, and I don't think that's really a fault of the product. I think it's because I chose to use reusable cotton rounds with it. I'm right now I'm using the Jenny Patinkin cotton rounds, and with reusable cotton rounds, because they are cloth, they tend to absorb a lot of product. So if I could go back, I would actually just apply this to my hands and kind of rub them together and press it on the skin, which they say on the directions is an option but I have just kind of stuck with cotton rounds because that's what I've done and I like that kind of extra layer that feeling of exfoliation that I get from the Jenny Patinkin cotton rounds when I'm applying this to my skin so this toner is $60 it's supposed to again help brighten balance the pH keep blemishes at bay and really what a toner is supposed to do is kind of prep your skin for the next step which is a serum or a moisturizer I actually really enjoyed this toner I think it was kind of a smell thing it has lavender in it and I I just found it really calming, soothing, and I guess cooling to apply to my skin after cleansing. I also feel like I had this love-hate relationship with toners because when I was growing up and I had acne prone skin, I used like all of those stripping alcohol toners. So to find one that doesn't have alcohol in it and that feels really like nourishing <laughs> and soothing rather than harsh and stinging is just always a great find in my book. I feel like this and the Indie Lee CoQ10 toner are kind of like up there with my two favorites. I just really enjoyed using this. I was bummed at how quickly I've gone through it. I'm pretty much almost done with it as you guys can see and I still have a lot of the other products. So again, if I could go back, I would just apply this to my hands and press it into my skin rather than using those cotton rounds to try and preserve it because it is expensive. So after toning my skin, I actually skipped the serum step and we'll come back to that in a second uh, because I would apply moisturizer all over my skin. And this was the only product that I really used day and night. Like I said, um, I just kind of splash my face in the morning and then apply moisturizer if I feel like I need it. But this is the face re-sculpting cream. And this is definitely one of the pricier products that I tried. This retails for $118. And this was created in the hopes of kind of mimicking the red light therapy that Tracy Martin is known for. You guys can probably Google or look on their website and you'll see um, there's a lot of red light technology, a lot of microcurrent technology that Tracy Martin utilizes and has been utilizing for years. And so this was kind of created to hopefully bring that experience or at least those results home with you. I was kind of skeptical when this was sent to me because I was like, okay, face re-sculpting cream. I read about it. It talked a lot about firming the skin. And I was thinking to myself, like, why do I kind of need this if I told them that I have dehydrated acne prone skin but this was one of the products that really surprised me I used about two pumps of it which is less than I would probably use of a different moisturizer to do my whole face neck and kind of decollete area this cream almost seems like it's gonna be like a very thick like cold cream when you apply it to your skin but it absorbs so quickly which one is great because you know when you're going to bed you don't have this like thick cream stuck to your face and two if you want to apply this under makeup it is the perfect base because it sinks right into your skin but leaves your skin feeling very smooth and almost like provides this protective layer it feels like so your base is smoother than it would be without moisturizer but it's not going to slip around you have to try this to understand this has a very strong rose scent. It reminds me if you've ever tried MV Organics. They might have changed their name since I tried it. Um, but they have a rose moisturizer and this smells very similar to it. And that's because there's rose hip oil in it, which has natural vitamin A, which definitely helps with, you know, fine lines, wrinkles, toning, all that stuff. Another ingredient that's in it is black currant seed oil, which is really like an anti-inflammatory ingredient. It's also an antibacterial ingredient. So this is really surprisingly good for all skin types despite the fact that it is such a rich dense cream and I think probably that's why I was so impressed with it because again like I mentioned at the beginning of this video it's very hard to find products that work with both a dehydrated and acne prone skin type so I just felt like this was kind of a winner for me obviously very expensive based on the weight I can't see through this one so I don't know how much I have left but based on the weight it feels like I have a decent amount left and like I said I've been using this for two months and pretty much using this gosh like you know 100% of the time at night and then maybe 50% of the time in the morning 
length. So I've really gotten a lot of uses out of this and I still feel like I have some to go. I'm really happy to have this kind of in my arsenal to pull out when my skin, especially right now during winter, is really suffering. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the Firming Serum. This was actually the first product that came out in the Tracy Martin line and it was kind of used on clients and then people just became so obsessed with it that they would ask, can I bring in a little container and can I take some home? And then they actually started selling it. So when I was sent this product, um, the contact that I was working with told me to just apply this around my eyes because it might be too rich for an all over serum if I have acne prone skin. So I just started applying this as an eye cream and that's kind of why it was my final step of my normal skincare routine. This is the most expensive product that I have. On their website it says the firming serum is $195. That it promotes skin strength and elasticity, targets the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, moisturizes, hydrates, and helps kind of plump and restore volume to the skin. So certainly this product is targeted at potentially people in an older age group. I'm in my 20s right now. So for me, I don't tend to gravitate towards products that are targeted towards some of the effects or maybe we should call them like blessings of aging. Um, but as someone who has dehydrated skin and as someone who doesn't carry a lot of weight in my face, I actually do have fine lines, um, which I'm not upset about and I don't think anyone should be. I have some wrinkles starting to form in, you know, expressive areas of my face. And so I did want to give this a try and especially around my eyes where I'm starting to see some fine lines pop up. Did this every night for about gosh, two or three weeks. Um, and on the third week or the last week that I had done it every night, I started to notice I was getting a little bit of texture underneath my eyes. And I talked about this before. I'm very particular about eye cream because of this. I actually can get clogged pores close to my eye. So when I started to see that texture pop up, I knew that this was probably too rich for me. Um, I did reach out to the brand and kind of told them about it. And they said, yep, it's probably just too rich for you. Um, so I started using it every other night and that seemed to help. And now I'm kind of using it maybe like once or twice a week just to really <laughs> keep this skin very smooth. And that seems to be working fine for me. So unfortunately, I can't really give you guys a full review on this. I can say it's an incredibly lightweight texture. Uh, it's not something that you feel that's heavy on your skin all of these products really absorb into it and again you need such a little amount and go such a long way so I can imagine that this will last you for a long time even though it's quite an investment if you guys have tried the firming serum definitely let me know your thoughts I think it'd be helpful for other people who might be interested in it but for me it was just slightly too rich so I'm just using this very slowly as an eye cream and then I'll probably try and you know like gift friends or family maybe like a little pot or two to try so that I can actually work through this product and it's not just sitting there because I think based on the amount that I apply to my eyes, I would be working on this for quite a long time. So about two to three times a week, I would go from cleansing to a mask step. And I had two masks to try out and I would do one right after the other. The first is like an award-winning mask for them. This is called their Enzyme Exfoliating Mask and it is $90. The color of this mask, it's like a turquoise blue, super beautiful. Um, and it's both a physical and chemical exfoliating mask, which I love. I love anything that's going to kind of slough off that first layer of dead skin cells that for me can really cause a lot of trouble and congestion. Acids are both my best friend and my worst nightmare because I also have sensitive skin with certain acids and certain masks don't work for me. So I need to find something that is exfoliating but also gentle and I really feel like I found it in this product. It has a cooling sensation when you actually apply it. It just feels so good and refreshing. So this under up being one of my favorite products that I tried. Right now I'm using it two times a week. I think I should step it up to three times a week because I'm still getting some congestion in certain areas. And so I think my skin can handle three times a week now, but you know, start slow with anything, especially if you have sensitive skin, um, do patch testing, all that good stuff. But this feels so good. And when you remove it, your skin is like baby soft and wonderful. I didn't see like an immediate glow to my skin, but maybe that's just my skin, but I definitely felt the smoothness that came with this exfoliation. And certainly the next day when I used it in combination with the product I'm about to talk about, my skin was just so happy with me. So let's hop into that last product that we're gonna talk about. This is the Complexion Savior, and this retails for $80, and this can be either used as like a, you know, like a flash mask, right after this one, or you can wear this all night as an overnight mask. And I chose to do all night because again, I have that dehydrated skin and can use kind of the soothing and moisture that this provides. This is supposed to be great for all skin types. So it's supposed to be good for oily skin, supposed to be good for dry skin. It's supposed to really help hydrate and plump your 
your skin and also really soothe it um, and prevent breakouts from happening. So this does have aloe in it and I would say it does feel like an aloe mask if that makes sense. So it's not quite as sticky as applying just aloe to your skin but if you know the feeling of when you get a sunburn and put aloe on it and aloe sort of has absorbed into it but there's like a slight tackiness. It feels like if you smiled you can almost feel something pulling a little bit and I got that sensation with this mask. I applied a really thin layer and I still felt it. It's not uncomfortable at all. It's just sort of the feeling that you get from it and then when you wake up in the morning it's like fully absorbed into your skin you don't feel it at all. I also thought of note and interestingly this was an observation I made too on the exterior packaging of this. This doesn't have an aroma therapy note. It has a note about some of the technology that's actually in this and I think that's because this doesn't smell very good. It doesn't linger. You're not going to smell it your whole life. Personally, if a product works, it doesn't bother me that it doesn't smell great. I don't think that fragrance or perfume should be added to products just to make them smell good. I think that the product should stand on its own and that, you know, as long as it's not particularly offensive and it doesn't linger and you're not like, your nostrils aren't burning because it smells so bad, then like whatever, who cares? And that's sort of where I am on this product because it really does help hydrate and plump the skin. The next day after using this, I just felt like I was having a good skin day. I kind of wore off by the next day. Like I didn't feel as hydrated, as plump when I woke up as I did with this, but certainly when I used this overnight, it felt really, really good. And again, it has that kind of cooling, soothing effect, I think because of the aloe in it. So I thought that these two made a really, really great pair um, and were just kind of exactly what my skin needs, which is something exfoliating exfoliating um, to help with kind of the congestion and then something that's not going to clog my pores but it's really going to help with that moisture so this ended up being a really good duo for my skin oh okay we've been talking a lot but I do want to do some wrap-up thoughts first I want to say I know these are really expensive products they do carry trial sizes of a lot of them so they have trial kits that range from as cheap as $74 to as expensive as $208 so I think that's always really important when they're a luxury brand it is important to let the consumer you know test out your products before they invest in them I would definitely check out those kits try and get your hands on one if you can if not then I like to pick you know certain products to introduce over time and I wanted to give you guys kind of the products that I think you know I would personally repurchase and invest right now and then the products that I would kind of hold off on and again this is very personal to my skin type my experience and what my skin needs right now so for me you probably could already tell the masks were definitely one of my favorites if I had to choose one I would choose the exfoliating mask I just think it's great it's unique it's perfect for sensitive skin I also am finding that toner is something that is really important to my skin just that like step in between cleansing and moisturizing to kind of rebalance the pH and really prep my skin for whatever I'm adding next to make sure it's the most effective so I personally personally would repurchase this toner. I really enjoyed it. Very soothing, um, relaxing to put on. And then if I had to pick one of the like creme de la creme products that I tried to repurchase, it would definitely be this face resculpting cream. I can see this working for so many different age groups, skin types, and does such a good job of really like boosting firmness and really like showing you those results. Speaking of results, I should probably tell you guys how I felt like they performed overall. For me, I felt like this wasn't a brand that I saw immediate change with. This was a brand that I've seen change with over time. And I think that's okay because I think most skincare is that way. And most of those instant results end up fading anyway. For example, you know, like the really, really plump hydrated skin that I got with this complexion savior the morning that I wash it off my skin. That fades by the next day. But what <laughs> doesn't fade is products that are really transforming your skin from the inside out. I felt as though I didn't see a humongous change in the amount of acne that I had um, and texture, which is something that I struggle with for sure. When I use the mask, especially the exfoliating mask, I felt like the next day and the day after, my texture was a little bit better, but then it would kind of resurface again. So that's been one frustrating thing, and that could be the time of year could be all the sugar that I'm <laughs> currently eating because we have the holidays, but that's something to note. What I felt like was most impressive for me was the tone of my skin, and by that I mean like the tautness of my skin, the plumpness of my skin, which again, 
you know, I've told you guys I'm in my 20s, so it's not something I'm usually very conscious of. And then the actual brightening of my skin. So for me, the results that I saw were brightness, more tone to my skin, the, you know, expressive lines that I have, I started to notice they didn't really stay in place anymore. And I think that is partly because of kind of the plumpness and moisture that was brought back into my skin from these products. So I was really surprised at what a difference I started to notice probably around week five of using these. I started to wake up in the morning and even the days that I didn't wear the mask, I like would feel my face and it would feel really soft. And that's not something that I'm used to. I'm used to waking up and my skin feeling kind of like you know, tight and especially because we have the heat on now that it's cold. So it's just a different sensation. And then throughout the day, I was noticing that, you know, I never got like the dry flakiness that sometimes I would get. And when I got, you know, a breakout, what I'm used to is either like blackheads or really deep rooted acne, I would actually get like a whitehead and I could use like a hot compress, gently treat that spot and then it would go away. And gosh, I feel like I've said so much in this video. I hope that this was really helpful and gave you guys a bit of an overview, uh, some insight into Tracy Martin's products. You can also get facials at Tracy Martin in New York if you're a local there. Certainly that is now on my bucket list to go do after doing like all this research and learning more about the brand. Sounds like the facials are pretty incredible. So adding that to my bucket list, but for now the at home facials will have to do. And I'm certainly not complaining because I've been very happy with the results. The one thing that I would add back into the routine just because I still am having a little bit of acne is some sort of spot treatment. And that's something that I feel like would have really made this routine kind of complete and work for me. But otherwise like tone and kind of like plumpness of my skin, I'm really happy with the brightness of my skin and kind of reduction in pigment and you know post-inflammatory pigmentation from acne has been really great. So this has been really fun to try. I'm really grateful that Tracy Martin sent me these products to try out. Like I said, I hope this was really helpful. If you have any follow-up questions, just let me know down in the comments. I will have everything linked down below as usual. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a long one. So if you made it all the way here, congratulations. I got a DM me or something on Instagram so I can say a huge thank you. Let me know some of the other brands that you want me to try out in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys all next week. Bye!